Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about outdoor edge flip and zip. This is the orange color version. They also make one in black. The orange one was on sale so I got me two samples to test out. I wanted for a quite a while one of those pocket saws. Uh, it is not a knife, it's just a plain simple saw in a compact packaging. We see it's really thin, less than 10 mm. Uh, left and right we have aluminum scales that are anodized, in this case orange, and they have a rubberized coating on top of it. Uh, we see the handle has a bit uh, texturing milled in the scales there. Uh, the fasteners are all with Allen wrench and nice stainless steel. On the back side we see pretty much the same just the laser engraving is different. The system is a simple lock back. There is no one hand use on this one, it has no thumb stud or anything like that. You simply open it with two hands and then we see the saw blade there with flip and zip engraved on it. And the saw in this model only saw on wood as you pull on it. If you move forward the edges do not cut too much but you need to pull it backwards and then the saw action gonna gonna happen. Another nice feature is also this hook here. As we see in front it has a bit of a hook there. So as you saw you pull the, the handle back and you quite likely not gonna lose the distance of the saw blade. Uh, usually if the saw has no hook like that you are easy sawed out of the material of the wood whatever you're gonna gonna cut and this prevents that so that's a, a clever feature there and it works pretty pretty good that uh, is often the case if you have a smaller saw blade like as I use on the Victorinox to compare it there we don't have a hook on the end there and uh, because of the smaller saw blade that is easily lost by the sawing material and uh, this hook here this simple idea just allow you to have a more fluid motion by sawing through a tree or a bone or whatever you're gonna gonna use it for uh, some plastic like pipes and all that would work with that kind of a saw of course too. Uh, problem gonna be a bit about resharpening the saw blade that is quite likely not available as a spare part so it's a bit uh, a one-way use. I hope uh, that Outdoor Edge gonna offer spare blades of that system uh, because one day for sure that's gonna be relative dull and uh, that is rather rather a problem to resharpen. Uh, the saw is on the tooth a bit wider so that make, makes it for a free float action by sawing pretty good. Also the sides are smooth of that stainless steel blade there so that gives you a smoother action for sawing through the material. So that's all in all pretty nice. Uh, on this model that came with a sheet, we're gonna have a look at the packaging in a minute. That uh, one doesn't have a pocket clip so that's uh, a bit a uh, disadvantage. Uh, if I remember correctly I saw the same saw with the pocket clip. If that is still made or not it's a bit hard to see by the catalog, by the online website from Outdoor Edge but uh, I'm gonna add on two pocket clips on that saw because that's the main reason why I wanted this to have a, a saw that has a certain pretty good size blade in a style like a pocket 
knife uh, as thin as possible with a pocket clip so I can carry it for for the everyday carry if I am a bit more in the wooded areas here in North Georgia so that's gonna come in handy the orange color is easy to spot on the ground too now about that rubberized coating that they put over the, the handle uh, I don't know exactly what it is it looks a bit like uh, silicone or something I'm just saying that's not gonna last uh, too long as we look here on that side here it's more shiny compared to the other uh, that's exactly where the the material that that the uh, coating did already wear off and if you if you want to do bad and you simply go with the nail a bit over it that gonna gonna go off even more i hope the camera see it there the the shiny part is the color that it would have originally from the orange anodizing and the more matte is where that coating is still over it so that is something that's gonna gonna wear off a bit too over time but still it gives you as it is new it gives you a good feel and uh, yeah it, it's pretty nice I'm happy with it for sure once as a deep carry pocket clip is mounted on it then that's gonna be nice again they make it in a black color as well for those who don't like the, the orange orange is just simpler to find in the bushes or in the forest if you drop it compared to a black tactical variation now for the the packaging as you get it you see we have outer edge and then flip and zip light white folding pocket saw and the, the aircraft grade aluminum handle and it has a nylon belt sheet uh, that sheet is of course relative thin for that tin knife so that they're uh, gonna be tough to find uh, another use for that for that sheet it doesn't have too much play uh, that is how that is so you can carry it on your belt in that sheet too or you hook it on equipment that would work as well and on the back side we see the knife open we see also there the, the measurements the saw blade is 9.6 centimeters the overall length is 20.7 the blade steel is just a uh, stainless steel uh, the handle is aircraft grade aluminum with a rubberized coating as best as I know it's a yeah it's product of China produced in China so that uh, is how that is uh, currently by the local China uh, Walmart on sale that's why I did try it out uh, we will see maybe I get me the black version with the original clip at the shop show 2000 and 15. Uh, Outdoor Edge has a lot of great products if you don't know the company uh, that is a bit a uh, company that is specialized in hunting knives and hunting equipment uh, they also have a lot of uh, DVDs show you how to hunt and to uh, take apart the game to butcher it and all that for your own meat and uh, they are based in Colorado, USA, really nice people and uh, they are specialized in hunting knives for a couple decades by now they were as best as I saw the, the first that did use the T-shaped handle skinning knives and also actually Outdoor Edge was the first company that I got a neck knife from those uh, are already long time ago but uh, it's it's quite some products that they make and uh, you see that on Outdoor Edge website so that much about the flip and zip the pocket saw